Structure and function are very closely related. In our brain example, the prefrontal cortex is responsible for behaviors that are key to being human, such as the ability to make decisions, think critically, and control impulses. It would make sense that this cortical area should have more neurons than other brain regions that aren't as important, such as the part of your brain that only controls vomiting. And in fact, the reason why the human brain looks so convoluted with dips and grooves is to pack as many neurons as possible into the most important parts of the brain, including the prefrontal cortex. We have more of these grooves than most other animals. So what are some physiology methods that could be used to study brain function? Well, scientists could observe what happens when one part of the brain is stimulated. For example, if a certain part of the motor cortex is activated, a person might automatically move their leg. Another way is to study brain tissue using a variety of laboratory techniques to see how DNA, proteins, and chemicals work to keep each brain region working properly.